Okay, so let's go and con working by adding some colorizers and color map over. So I'm going to begin by um, selecting some maybe our combiners. Let's look where we have our colorizers output right here. So I'm going to add maybe a couple around this place and we'll use it output from our lower level. So we'll go select a couple of them. And maybe you know what let's go to um deposit so because deposit will be on a lower level and this one leave it above i'm we'll gonna go select um let's go see which map we're going to use it we have a classic mountain i think this will work well for the first part okay and our second part let's see what other ones we can select it maybe um dirt and grass i think that will work again you can play around and see which one um, will work better for you and let's go to select combiner so we'll go right here we'll add one another one and here's with combiner colors because when we start using like a screen which is light up all the way so it's very bright um, remember we always can go and mask for example we can take the high field which we're connecting to primary input and connect to the mask and you can see how it will cut off and leave it some of those areas um, unmasked so we can use those primarily okay this is one combiner the next let's go take some from this advanced perlin and use it as well um, for the coloring Okay, so we'll go to just copy one. Okay, braced right there. And I'm going to connect to um, mountains. Except on this one, you know what? I'm going to um, maybe just set something darker. Rocky kind of looking, I think, maybe. Add a little bit closer, almost like black rocks kind of look. Bring this limit. Actually, I don't like this too bright, so I'm going to change. Maybe right here. Okay, so we have this colorizer. And next, what I want to do is uh, combine with what we have before. So we'll go bring in. We'll go switch this on top, this on the bottom. Okay, let's go ahead and open. And you can see we have it kind of nice, but not necessarily bring um, effect that I wanted. So we'll go root all the way. But because the root and how they work together, the overlay and kind of taking off some of this map, what I want to do, I want masking now the area right here. So my combiner from down, from um, below, from this one does not override my rocks that I like it. So I'm going to select, connect to our combiner. And uh, I see the need inverse. So we'll go inside the filter and then you can see where is the green. It's why I want to have it black. So we'll have it invert. And right this one. So we'll put it on that inverse. Okay, let's look right now. You can see we have the beautiful dark areas. Of course, we can modify and, you know, maybe even bring kind of darker little bit more right there so kind of play a little bit more with colors see which one will work a little bit better in this case okay so we combine we add the effect next we have our erosion and i want to use it the flow from this because it's kind of will look very nice so let's do this we're going to create a new colorizer just copy paste okay we'll go take from um our flow connect right here let's open our flow and you know just maybe grassy will look okay for now we'll maybe switch afterwards 
we can go inside the combiner select new we'll go connect one right here one below okay let's go preview let's switch to the root bring way brighter and again i want to control masking so i'll control from flow to mask so you can see we add kind of nice if you are right there you can see beautiful flow if you want you can always change color maybe even try some more um let's see kind of like this or sandstone and see which one color working actually maybe red will work a little bit even better in this case bring maybe around that area so I'll give it a little bit more reddish color on a flow okay and as example you know let's do something more complex so we already add all of these nodes and what I was thinking maybe we should go inside natural and try take a snow and let's add a snow node right here so you can see how with colorizer we already done so far so if we even going inside the output and take our overlay map we can connect it right here we can go preview you can see we already have a very nice nice looking dark mountains black mountains with uh, some flowing going but as example so if i want to add some powder snow maybe on top not on the side just as example look on this okay so we have it snow we'll go connect to our snow model and we can connect to overlay but what i want to do it's also work a little bit more on a color so we can understand how they work and the colors you notice right here we have a snow depth mask so we'll go to use that one um but besides using this i also want to be sure the snow apply only on the top i don't want to apply everywhere as a color map and i want maybe apply um on a specific height and slope so we can go to selectors we're going to go select one height okay and let's select slope as well so right here we have a slope then a height so as a slope we can go select it so let's go to connect first Okay, we can go select it and we can leave around say maybe just bring a little bit higher and you can preview right on the map how it's going up and down so I'll just show you some examples you can use maybe for some other project okay let's go select our slope for this one and with the slope let's go to preview right here our height okay actually this is slope okay let's go open our height and with the height we can do kind of similar only maybe take down so around right there i think will be okay now we want to combine them together so we can pre create one map because right now the two maps um, inside the combiner again we'll select one we'll go connect slope We'll connect the height to both of them okay next okay right here connect right there right here so we'll go open and we'll go now select by minimum because black color it's what i'm kind of want to work with i'll go click and let's go click okay okay and i notice it does not necessarily work good because probably i just need to go let's invert that selection so yeah right now it's look a little bit more right for me so what i want to do i want to create you see where's this snow will cover where's a white area so i want to go on top nothing on the side and just on maybe on higher altitude for this okay and next let's go create our snow coverage and we'll just go use it um colorizer you don't necessarily need to use but um 
I just want set one white color you can do multiple colors just as an example okay and we want control this from the snow level so I'll go connect right there and next we want use another combiner to combine our color from here and our color from there um, I want control also my mask and I will use my mask control from combiner before okay we probably need to modify a couple things and right here I see um, we'll go to this screen okay we can populate click OK okay and now we can take this one and connect to overlay so we can go preview okay you can see it just has its example we add some snow effect of course we want to go inside this snow node by itself and modify it some of the properties kind of hard to see but what you can do you can take intensity all the way up be sure you bring snow line higher and you can adjust and preview the snow properties based on this okay it's take a little bit time to do but you can make maximum overall what i want intensity of the snow i don't want very high so i'll take intensity quite a bit down okay also on a balance i want to evaporate a little bit higher and we don't need a very high snow amount i just want small powder so maybe about 10 8 and we also take our mask and bring down the altitude level i think around right here okay we can preview you can again if you all um you can always log preview on these devices so when you modify it you can also change and preview that way as well you can see how the intensity but remember intensity of the snow it also will affect not just the colorization but that will affect shape as well so like example okay let me zoom out a little bit okay we can go to snow selecting right here okay and if you look some between them you can see if we add a snow amount and let's take snow line down okay, you'll notice right here will start snow increasing kind of pricing a little bit down as well okay so you'll see how much snow will start covering so this is between mountains it's all covering with snow so i'm not sure i want this i just want powder so in that case it's the reason why i'm reducing intensity of the snow okay maybe a little bit less so it does not affect the shape as much on this and we'll take a price and bring way higher so it's a, how much snow will be gone how much keeping okay we'll take snow amount again and bringing down and right now snow line way on the bottom so we can bring this up as before here are small things you don't necessarily need to treat this as a snow you always can treat this as well as uh, maybe sand and some sand desert so we can go to select desert color and uh, now what we have it, it is some sand going over top of our mountains and if we're decreasing down look we can add the sand to this area between so it is up to you whatever you how you decide to do it and we can add a little bit on alpha it's not so tense slightly right there remember this is height so we'll take height and we can actually bring a little bit more down lower okay let's click f to unlock on our preview we can click F to lock on combiner. So in this case, you can see right here how much sand where we can put in. We're going with the sand. Same as a slope, we can make 
going on a flood or this actually will be more on a flood and this is going on a steep so we can get a little bit more on a flood areas. Okay, lock to this preview, render, and right here you can see we apply it. So it's up to you if you want to use it as snow or as a sand. But overall, right here is what we try to do. It create this nice um, ground around, kind of eroded, and uh, more young mountains on a middle kind of point, rocky mount. So we was learning in this tutorial how to combine different shapes to create the terrains as well as creating an image map for this terrain.